In this video, we're going to look at tracking an Avid Media Composer so we can do things like this. And be sure to download the CNQ app to catch your shows on the go, only for Windows Phone. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So what we made there was a fake commercial for our fake show, Cop Drama, all new Thursdays. Of course, we also use Titler Pro for the uh, lettering there. And what we're going to do in this video is use our workhorse in the blend category, 3D Warp. You really need to know and love 3D Warp because it can do so much. Now we're just going to cover the basics of tracking. We're not going into an in-depth study of it. This will just be the basics that will hopefully get you up and running. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is what we're going to track. We're going to recreate this commercial here, but we're going to use different footage. So if I just hit play here, you can see we have motion on our cell phone there. So it's not as easy as just overlaying a video on that. Let me activate our video one track. I'll just pop this in just to show you real quick here. Then we'll come up to video two and we'll scroll up to the footage we want to use, which is right here. I've already got it marked with an in and an out. I thought that was the best scenes from our fake cop drama commercial here. So I think this here will be best for our uh, screen there. Okay, so let's just pop that on video two. So of course that's covering up our video two right now. So we'll come here to blend, 3D warp, pop it on there, go into effects mode, and we could come into scaling, fixed aspect ratio, size it down, come in here to rotation, and sort of rotate it around about where we want. And of course use the left and right keys on our keyboard, and we'll scale it down even more. And we can use the up and down keys or left and right keys on our keyboard. And we can also grab it with our mouse here, kind of get it into place. We'll just keep sizing it down. And one thing I like to use is a corner pin actually. So we can actually just grab this corner pin tool here, just grab that. And then we can pin it right to the corners, which makes it really easy to get this set up. So you're not having to use your position and scale so much. Okay, that's not perfect. I can hold down control here on my windows. I can sort of zoom in. You see it's close, you know, it's close enough. Of course, the problem is it's only good for that one frame. Once we start playing through and our phone starts moving, well, then it's out. Then we'd have to come back into effects mode and maybe try to do keyframing or something, but no, that's where tracking comes into place. So first, let me go ahead and remove this effect. First off here, we can see this footage doesn't actually cover the amount of time I want it to cover. So first, let me come in here to time warp. This really doesn't have anything to do with uh, tracking. Let's grab time warp, throw it on here first. Let's slow it down to somewhere around 85, 84. That should be okay. And then I can drag it out, hopefully. Okay, see, I actually need to slow it down a little more because we're getting the frame after uh, that I didn't want. Okay, so we'll just pop right back in here and let's just slow it down a little more. We'll go for about 81. That should be good. And we'll scroll through, make sure we just get the scenes we want. And that's good. Okay, so as you can see, we have our footage over top of our cell phone footage. This is how you want to set it up. We have our cell phone footage on video track one or whatever we're going to be tracking, at least in this case. And we have the video that we want to be on top of the cell phone, of course, on video track two, so above it. All right, so let's go ahead and start tracking here. First, we'll come in here to our blend category. We'll use 3D warp, just drop it right on top, pop in here to effects mode. And the first thing we need to do is scale it down. So fix the aspect ratio, we're gonna scale it down. Now, as you saw earlier, we used the corner pin, which I'm going to use again, but it's important to sort of get it close to where you want first. If I just start corner pinning now, you see, it's not gonna work. Control Z, Control Z. All right, so let's go ahead and get it scaled down a bit and uh, the most important here, make sure we're at the beginning, we'll go ahead and do our rotation. So we get it about where we want it. We use the arrow keys on the keyboard and it's still a bit too large. All right, we'll start with that. Then we'll come back to our corner pin. We have our corner pin tool right there. Select it and I'll just start pinning this to the corners. Right there, right there about there, about there. And of course that's off. 
And I also want to mention we have plenty of other things we could do. We could do skew, axis, a crop if you need to crop. Of course, we have position, perspective, those controls. But I'm just going to basically use the uh, scaling, rotation, and corner pin. All right. And we can, again, I'll hold down control on my windows, zoom in there so I can get this perfect or pretty perfect anyway. All right. And I'll zoom out, then I'll zoom in here towards the bottom. I want to make sure I cover up all that green that's shining through, but I don't want to get her hand. So that looks pretty good from what I can see. Of course, it's not going to look good as soon as we start scrolling. So we'll come back to the first frame there. And I think that looks pretty good from what I can tell. Looks all right. Now, what we want to do, since this is supposed to be on a cell phone, and of course, it depends on what you're going to be tracking and exactly what effect you're using to track. Keep in mind, you can track with a lot of different effects and have a media composer. We just happen to be using 3D Warp here, just to show you the basics. What I want to do is put a border on this, just a plain black border. We have all kinds of borders to choose from, bevels and round, things like that. But I think for the cell phone, the just plain black border looks pretty good. Just like a bevel on a, you know, on a real screen you'll have. Sometimes you'll have like a little black band around it. Just sort of adds a little contrast, sets it off a bit. I don't want a lot, just some. Try that. If we zoom in, you can kind of see it a little better there. So I'll just pull it way up and you can see what's happening. All right. So we just want a bit of a black border and just a little bit of softness. I don't like a lot. Not for this. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now what do you say we go ahead and start tracking? I'm gonna hit Control Shift F. You can see this full screen. And yeah, it's a little bit off here at the very beginning frame. I wanna make sure I fix that first. So I'll pop back in here, make sure at the very beginning, my corner pin, let me hold down Control. I'm gonna zoom in here. Yeah, I need to pull that down a little more. And this here needs to come out a little more there. Control shift F, I want to see full screen. All right, I'm not seeing any green there. Looks pretty good like that. And of course we play through, it's not gonna work. That's why we're going to track it. We're going to use corner tracking here, we'll just expand it. And right now we have four trackers, so we'll just turn them on. As soon as I turn one on, it opens up my tracking window for me, which if uh, you can't get it back open, just come right down here to our tracking tool and there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on all four right now. And we also have the option to stabilize the track. We don't want to do that in this case. Move this over here. Move this over so we can see what's going on. So right now we have these four trackers, but we have five spots that we can track. Now, first of all, you want to track an area of sort of high contrast, something that Media Composer can see is different from all of the pixels around it. And in this case, we have some great things to track these nice targets for us. So let's go ahead and start this. We'll just grab a tracker, place it over, these uh, targets, okay. And we'll uh, adjust those a bit in a minute. Open up our tracking tool and come right here because we have five things that we can track. I wanna go ahead and create a new tracker. And this will be similar to whatever you're tracking. I'm just trying to show you the basics here. All right, so there are our, all of our trackers placed. Let's go ahead and hold on control and I'll zoom in here and I'll zoom in again. And I wanna make sure I get these right in the middle, and in here you can see these bounding boxes. What we wanna do is make sure this inner target box is as small as possible, but make sure it contains whatever you're tracking, in this case, our targets. And this window here is the search area. We want it as small as possible, but we want it to sort of contain as much motion as possible. We don't want our target to be getting out of this box, but at the same time, we wouldn't wanna have this box to be huge. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what, you know, we wouldn't want it like this because it's gonna take forever to search, but we wouldn't want it like this because then the tracking data is going to be wrong. So choose an appropriately sized target and search box there. Control, and we'll zoom in here, make sure this is right on the X. It doesn't have to always be perfect, but I like to get as close as possible. I think this box is already big enough. Let's pop in here. That looks good. Zoom out, zoom out, let me. Check these here. That's not bad. Make this a little larger. Zoom out a bit. I think this box is fine. We'll check it in a minute. 
and then we'll pop this right there and right there. Okay. Now, if we start to scroll through, open up our tracking box, showing the tracking data, we can show the effect results. We don't have any yet. Okay, and we have these options over here to enable offset tracking. We have the steady guide. I'm not going to get into this stuff. We have enable smoothing. We're not going to get into all the options of this. Uh, what you can do actually, if you want to learn a little more, you can right click pretty much anywhere in Media Composer, choose what's this. It will open up the help guide and you could go in here and look for tracking and it has a lot of information about tracking or you can also search if you want to search for say tracking. All right, and then we have enable tracker and effect editor, all kinds of stuff about tracking in here that you can learn more about. But let's go ahead and continue on here with the uh, basics. All right, so once again, our video track is on top of our cell phone track. We have our tracker set up. Let's go back to our tracker tool. Okay, we have all these set up. Now, one thing you'll need to choose, we have correlation tracker, fluid tracker, fluid stabilizer. We're just gonna use correlation tracker Again, you can read up on those. This is just, again, this is just the basics. But one thing you'll definitely need to check is the track background or track foreground. This track, let me go to effect results. This track here, which is our video, is on top of our cell phone. So in that case, we want to track the background. Okay, because the effect is on the video, and we want to track the background. All right, so we have all of this set up. It should all be set up. Now, we actually generate the tracking data. It's very easy. I'll just go back to tracking data here and we'll just have this on all. Okay, so let's go ahead and start tracking. You have to do this first. So just click this button right here to start tracking. And Media Composer is going to start playing through. As you can see, it's tracking. And this process can take some time, especially if you have huge search boxes or you're tracking a, a big, long portion. It'll probably take me 45 seconds total here. Okay, and there it is. Now we can see because our display is on tracking data, we can see the tracking data right here. If we go to effect results, now we can see what happens. We can scroll through here and say, hey, look at that. That's a lot better than when we just, you know, sized our image down and we started scrolling through and we saw that, oh, well, now it's not on top of the phone. Well, now it is. Now it's staying with the phone on those tracking points again. Go back to the tracking data to see what's happening here. You can see all the movements that, that's happening that Media Composer tracked for us. I mean, imagine having to keyframe all of that. I mean, I've keyframed hundreds and hundreds of frames, and you know, it's it's awful. This is much better. So the important part is make sure that it plays well, and make sure that none of that uh, green is showing through. So we'll just play through it real quick here. It's going to be a little slow because we haven't rendered the effect yet. But from what I can see, it looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we would do is render the effect, which I'm going to do, and we can go ahead and finish up our fake commercial. But before we finish up our commercial, let me just uh, control shift F, go full screen here. I'm gonna use my arrow keys. Okay, so I can see now that we're getting a little green through here. And we could re try retracking it or what I'm going to do actually, because it's only for a couple of frames. Okay, it's like there, it's only a few frames. What I'm going to do, I'm just gonna come back in here. Make sure to pull this down here. Uh, I'm gonna hit control, I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm just gonna pull this a little more over there. And I think over here, a bit of a problem there. And Hmm. Think about going in here to perspective. We could change that around. You know, what? I'm gonna leave that alone. I think I think that's okay. Control Shift F. And let me go through here. Now I'm just making sure with every movement. I'm not seeing any green. Okay, I'm seeing a little green along this line here. Yeah. It's not quite large enough. I can make it a little bit larger just to make sure everything is perfect. Let me zoom out a little bit there. So I could scale this up a little bit if I wanted to. 
and we can always retract, maybe have like a little bigger of an area that we want to track or something. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So that is the basics of tracking. Now we'll go ahead and finish out our commercial. Throw in Tidler Pro 4. All right, delete the track that's on there. Come back here. And then I'll go ahead and finish this here myself. And after I get this done, we will watch it all the way through and see how the tracking went. And be sure to download the CNQ app to catch your shows on the go, only for Windows Phone. All right, so that is the basics of tracking an Avid Media Composer.